Google has recently introduced a new way of handling attachments within Gmail. First thing to keep in mind is that you can still right click any link including attachments in your Gmail. So for example a photo I could right click, choose save image as, and determine where I want to save it and then rename it if necessary and then save it. Likewise with PDF or Word documents or any other type of attachment you can do the same thing. Just right click on the attachment, choose save link as, choose where you want to put it, rename it if necessary, and click save. The new interactions we have with Gmail attachments include these two buttons that we'll talk about in a second or this larger box like option that shows the name of the attachment and even a preview as you can see there. If I click once on an attachment, it will bring up a preview of the attachment. And from here, I can either close the attachment with the X up in the right hand corner, I can print the attachment, zoom in and out, or I can choose any of these other options here at the bottom, including opening with a different program, downloading to my Google Drive, or downloading it to my computer. If I just click download, it's going to go to your default downloads folder so you won't have a choice. So very rarely if I want to save an attachment do I actually click the download because I usually like to put it where I want and therefore we can use the right click method I described earlier. If you do choose the Google Drive option it automatically saves it to your main folder in Google Drive or you can create a folder on the fly here with Google Drive. You will notice that within the email those same buttons are available. I can click the download button here, which again, when I do that, you'll see that it automatically downloads. I don't get the choice, so it goes to my default download location, which on most computers is the downloads folder. Or if I click the Google Drive button, save to drive, I do get the similar dialog box I showed you earlier, where I can save it to a new folder, or if I just simply click done, it then automatically goes to the main Google Drive folder. So I hope that helps you handle Gmail attachments a little bit easier.